Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. This one is a stream highlight I took from a stream I did uh, like a month ago, but it's about a conversation I had with a 14-year-old uh, about, you know, should you be practicing for esports even though you're not old enough to do esports yet? And I think that um, looking at some of the people that comment all the time and kind of how the demographic skews sometimes, I think uh, a lot of you are going to get a lot of value out of this video. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So, I, uh, um, he, he was getting sad, this kid. He's like 14, right? And he was really getting sad because he wants to do esports siege, right? He's 14. And he's really good at siege for being 14. He's really good at shooter games. He's like, man, I just want to do esports, you know? It's like, why, why would I practice if I can't do esports? You know, those valid questions, right? Why would I practice if I can't do esports? And I was like, you know what, buddy? This is like a two-part thing, right? I was like, so first of all, it's always good to like practice. Right? You want to do it, you just can't do exactly the thing right now. You know, me and another guy talked to him, and we were like, you know what? Even though you can't do it now, it's still practice. You do what you can until you're old enough to do esports. And we pointed out, we said, hey, remember, because he said he really was sad because he wanted to do esports siege right he's worried about siege dying by the time he didn't get to do it and we were like listen buddy siege is the top game for you for now there was a time what would you practice why would you practice walking if when you're older you may not be able to do it anymore that is a philosophical question never thought about that before taylor that's a good question to enjoy it while you can that's why you would do that you still get to enjoy siege and i said look for me, I wanted to do Call of Duty esports, or Call of Duty quickscoping, uh, back when that was like the, the thing to do, you know? And I was like, I didn't get to do that. I was too young. No one wanted to take me because I was too young. And I also wasn't skilled enough. So I had to practice. And then Siege came out. I practiced quickscoping for like, I don't know, five years. Then Siege came out. And, but all the skills I learned from playing shooter games applied to Siege, and so now I can play Siege really well. Like, naturally. Picking up new skills in Siege. Like, the TCSG is a great example. On console, the TCSG is easier for me to use with an angled grip and ACOG because of quickscoping. Like, that's, that's a real thing, you know? So I told him, I'm like, hey, look. You, you, you can practice. And I'm like, a musician, when they're eight years old, they can't, you know, play in front of millions of people. They can't self-publish their own music, but they still practice. You should practice too. And I said, you know what? Siege isn't going to be the number one game forever either. If there's going to be another, like, ultimately Siege will be replaced, right? Once upon a dime, once upon a time, Doom was the number one shooter game in the world, right? Not anymore. Not by a long shot. It has an active speedrunning community, not an active competitive community. Or, oh, competitive shooting community. The speedrunning community is competitive as hell, and it's crazy. And a feat of genius. But, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, competitive siege won't last forever. We and, need to spectate. And it sucks. But, like, all the skills you acquire here, you're going to be able to apply yeah. to other video games. I don't know how professional it is. Probably, seconds. this is probably a better spot. Yeah, this is a way better Time spot. Fires in 10 seconds. Just saw me. Five seconds to go. Oh. Mission failed. I could have kept shooting. I am sad. I said all the skills that you learn now are going to affect you in the future, right? Because that's a hard thing to think about when you're like, I don't know, my age and not younger, like 21 and younger, right? Because it's like... In school, everything you do in school, unless you, like, actually go to college, really doesn't matter, right? And you kind of, like, set your life over. But from, like, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, it matters, right? And when it comes to video games, how you play video game, like, what skills you pick up while playing video games does kind of affect, you know, does kind of have this effect on, okay, you're 14 now, by the time you're 20, you're going to be really good, you know? You guys play Dark Souls now. So that's what I was trying to explain to him was like, look, no, no, this is a skill. Long term. You got to think long term about this. Probably not going to be able to play Siege. 
and you I you know you might not be able to play the next game after siege but maybe the next game after that you know I don't like that uh esports you have to be 18 plus I hate that I think that rule should be lifted plus the black dude with esports you have to be 18 unless you play clash royale you can be 16, but like, dude, come on, really? The people that are the best at esports have been playing video games for their whole lives. You know? So that's kind of like, I just don't get why you have to be 18 to do a lot of these things. Like, I get the games rated M, but like, I don't know, I don't see the problem with being... Is this guy actually gonna defuse it? No way. So yeah, the 14 year old, we were like, look man, just keep practicing. Just because you can't do it now doesn't mean the skills that you gain in the next four years are not gonna help you, right? Don't wait, practice.